Adventures, it's me, Mindy, and I am about to play for you a super special mini episode of Wow in the World, all about a place that we know and love, Planet Earth, or as I like to call it, Planet Wow. Whether it's Earth Day or just another day on Earth, it's always a good time to celebrate this big, bonker balls, beautiful planet that we call home. And Guy Raz, Grandma G-Force, Thomas Fingerling, and I made a commercial for our amazing planet, or at least we tried to. After you listen to this mini episode, visit tinkercast.com slash planet wow to see how you can join our planet wow epic geocaching adventure. The link is down below in the description. So what do you say? Are you ready to visit planet wow? Well then let's go. Hit it, Reg! <laughs> <coughs> okay, Mindy, Guy Raz, welcome to Planet Earth, take one. You ready? Ready! Let's do it! Okay, Reggie. <coughs> Cue music. <coughs> and action. Looking to settle down and make a home somewhere in the Milky Way galaxy? Well, then look no further than Planet Earth the universe's premier destination for comfort, adventure, and bonker balls natural beauty. Nestled in the heart of the Goldilocks zone, our four and a half billion year old planet is never too hot and never too cold. In fact, it was designed with a special invisible blanket of heat trapping gases to always keep our temperatures just right. For you, that is. Just ask any of the 8 billion people who currently live here. Well, I give this place one star, and that star is called the sun. And I wish somebody would go up there and turn it off, because it's too hot. Uh, <coughs> okay, cut. <sighs> Grandma G-Force, we're trying to help people see why the Earth is such a great place to live. We can't tell them that it's too hot. They'll never want to live here. But it is too hot, and it's getting too hotter. Uh, Grandma You know, Grandma G-Force does have a point, Mindy. What? Well, our planet is getting hotter. Told ya. But it's not because of the sun. Baloney. Well, in part, it's because of us. What? Oh, snap. Well, yeah. I mean, while our planet was designed with this perfect invisible blanket of heat-trapping gases to trap just the right amount of heat to keep it from getting too hot or too cold, we humans who live here are actually helping to make that blanket thicker. Not me. I'm just over here minding my own beeswax. Wait a minute, Guy Raz. How in the world are we making the invisible blanket thicker? Yeah, I don't even know how to make a blanket. Well, that blanket around the Earth gets thicker because of more carbon pollution. Well, where are we getting all that carbon pollution from anyway? The carbon pollution store? Huh? I got this, Guy Raz. See, carbon pollution comes from all sorts of things, like cars, factories, and power plants burning things like gas and coal and oil, sending pollution into the atmosphere. That's right. How we make electricity, how we get around, make things, heat and cool our homes, even how we grow our food and use our land. These are all ways that we humans, all 8.2 billion of us, are changing this invisible blanket and making it thicker. And making it hotter. Well, I still don't like that sun. <clears throat> uh, can we stick to the script, please? We need to get this advertisement for Planet Earth recorded. <laughs> oh, sorry, where were we again? Bottom of page four, starting with all the amenities and perks that Earth as a home planet has to offer. Oh, yeah, 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 I got it. Reggie, <laughs> cue music. <clears throat> Looking for relaxation? Well, planet Earth has you covered with miles of pristine beaches, rolling green meadows, lush forests, and fresh open waters, all to be enjoyed at no extra charge. But don't take our word for it. Yeah, take my word. And my word says, hope you like water. What? Back when I was your age, water stayed where it belonged, in the oceans and rivers, 
And now it's all over the place, flooding my basement and storming all the time while I'm trying to have pickleball practice. Okay, uh, let's just, um... Yeah, and the wet's getting wetter. Oh, boy. Yeah, and the dry is getting drier. Uh, and the hot is getting hotter. And the smells are getting... Okay, cut. Oh. Rude. We hear you, Thomas Fingerling. We do? We do, and you're not entirely wrong. Oh, I'm not? He's not? Well, the truth is, because of all the carbon pollution that all of us are adding to our atmosphere... Causing that invisible heat-trapping blanket to get thicker and our planet to get hotter... We're experiencing wets getting wetter, dry getting drier, and, like you said, hot getting hotter. That's true. We are experiencing more bonker balls, storms, and floods, and even wildfires. It's so dry out there, I can't even drink out of my gutters or do my Tuesday fireworks show off the roof of my house, or else I'll burn down the whole neighborhood and start a wildfire. What? It's true. I had to stop her. Uh, Mindy, Guy, can we get back to recording the advertisement for Planet Earth, please? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sure. Uh, where were we? Uh, let's start with you, Guy, at the bottom of page five. There's something for everyone on Planet Earth. Oh, okay, uh, got it, got it. Reggie, (laughs) cue music. (laughs) And action. Here on Planet Earth, there's something for everyone. Whether you prefer quiet stargazing or the sounds of wildlife on any of our all-inclusive fitness trails, Planet Earth is here to take care of you. Actually... (sighs) Cut. (laughs) What's the problem now? Yeah, Mindy, what's going on? I'm sorry. It's just that while I agree that planet Earth has all of these wonderful and special things about it, and while I do agree that it's designed to take care of us, don't we have a responsibility to take care of it, too? (gasps) No! No, no, uh, Mindy has a point here. Planet Earth is not only the best home for all living things, including us, but it's also currently the only home we've got. And in order for our planet to take care of us, we've got to take care of our planet. Well, how are we supposed to do that, Mandy? Yeah. Well, there are all sorts of things we can do to stop polluting our atmosphere, starting in our own homes. Oh. Like what? Well, for starters, we can reuse things instead of buying them new. Oh, yeah. Some teens in Oregon organized a fashion show using clothing made entirely from recycled materials. We can also work to reduce how much food we waste or maybe even start composting food scraps at home or at school. Oh, yes. I read about this group of elementary school students in California who started a composting program to cut down on food waste in their cafeteria. Well, I'll do that at my high school, where I go to school. Huh? I'm a teenager. Okay? We can also try to limit the amount of electricity we use by turning off lights and electronics and saving water by taking shorter showers and walking or using public transportation instead of taking cars everywhere. Excuse me? Yes, Grandma G-Force? I have a question. Uh... I already do all that. I'm perfect. G-Force, I just watched you throw a whole ham out your car window. What? Okay, well, first of all, that is not a question. And second of all, it's impossible to be perfect. But we've all got to do our part and start somewhere. Even the smallest actions can add up to big things when we're trying our best. And speaking of best, perhaps the most important thing we can do is to use our voices. Okie doke. No, 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 not like that. Oh. Well, then what? What Guy Raz means is that we can use our voices to ask questions like, where did these new clothes come from anyway? And how were they made? How did they get here? Or where does our water come from? The hose. But before it gets to your hose. Oh, snap. I just thought it lived in the hose. Or maybe talk to the grown-ups in charge about adding solar panels to your school or changing to electric school buses. It might not be something that can happen right away, but getting the conversation going is a great first step. And 
we can use our voices to share what we learn with others. Friends, families, teachers, and even our elected officials. Our individual actions matter, but working together matters even more. And together, we can make the changes that we need for a brighter future. Uh, so can we get back to recording this advertisement for planet Earth, or...? You got it. Let's take it from the top. Oh, and just know that we might make a few small changes along the way. Okay, whatever you say. Reggie, cue music. But, uh, Reg, let's make it a little more upbeat this time. And action. Action. Looking for the perfect place to call home? Well, good news, you're already here. Welcome to Planet Earth, or as we call it, Planet Wow. The coolest, bluest, most bonkerballs, life-friendly planet in the galaxy. With fresh air, sparkling waters, and just the right amount of gravity, Planet Wow has everything you need to feel right at home. And that's not all. Planet Wow also has tons of animals, trees, oceans, and all kinds of wildlife working to keep our home planet running smoothly. But in order to keep it that way, our home planet needs our help too. Part of living here and enjoying all of the amazing things that Planet Wow has to offer means that we all need to do our part to help keep it happy, healthy, and safe for all who live here with us. By saving energy, keeping our air and water clean, and using our voices to encourage others to do the same, we can help the Earth to take care of us, too. And by pitching in, we'll all get to enjoy the amazing perks that Earth has to offer. Because when it comes to the best planets to call home, Earth is number one. And it's the only one we've got. So welcome home to Planet Wow, where the world is our own. And cut. That's a wrap. (laughs) Thanks for participating in Planet Wow, an epic geocaching adventure. And to keep the wow rolling, visit tinkercast.com slash planet wow. There you can track where in the world the Planet Wow trading cards are popping up and print your own secret stashes to place in geocaches. At tinkercast.com slash planet wow, you can also upload a video, photo, or audio message telling us about the places on our planet that make you say wow. Once again, that's tinkercast.com slash planet wow. (laughs) 